Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a very a quick um, uh, a quick video about uh, app protection in uh, Intune. Um, now we are um, we are partners of YouTube, so you can support us uh, with super likes. Um, so if I'm able to to help you guys, and if you like the videos and you want to support the channel, you can subscribe. You can. Uh, leave a like or something and you now can leave a, a super like that that is a very direct uh, support and that way you will be known as a, a supporter of the channel and you will have a comment on the video saying that you had supported and everything so i hope you guys enjoy i will certainly appreciate if you if you do today we're gonna talk about how to prevent users uh, from the device to data leak or to copy data from your company to outside of your company or from your internal tools to outside of your internal tools. Uh, this is very used by customers. So um, this is a very secure way to, to manage your, your data. So um, let's, let's go. And uh, this is the Intune admin portal. So we're going to navigate to apps here. And we're going to select app protection uh, down here. Here you can, you, you can configure, uh, configure a, a very broad um, different type of um, uh, configurations. I can give you a little bit of a tour there. So you have a general knowledge about this. And let's go and create one. So in this um, in this menu, you have to select uh, which uh, is the the device you want to apply in. If it is like uh, Apple devices, uh, Android devices, Windows or uh, Windows Information Protection. And so we are gonna do a test one for uh, can be this the first one. So let's uh, go and give uh, that pro. Uh, protection policy for Apple devices. All right, this we don't need for now. So apps, here you, you have to select the apps. This is the manage uh, apps um, that you can select. So the, the apps that you are installing from app center here they will be uh, available here for protection so imagine that you say all oh, microsoft apps uh, you want to see what this includes this uh, this will include all of these apps so this is it's kind of broad and normally this is uh, enough you have outlook here um you have um, word you have um, um powerpoint word uh, a lot of uh, different uh, ones you can probably need uh, uh, if you work with pdfs to prevent the pdfs to be copied but if the pdf comes from outlook it will be protected so let's gonna go next here so first of all, we want to uh, prevent backups from data to cloud because we we don't want them to be backupped. That's a way to, to lose uh, control of your data. And, and here we want to select uh, um policy manage apps so these are the apps again that is installed by intune so from intune here you can leave it this way it's like a default it will include all the the necessary links here you want to block these again because you want to select exceptions right so save copies of your organization data it, this is going to be block. This one, it's uh, to iTunes, of course. 
you can allow this or block this, but this will prevent the data to be uh, uploaded to in iCloud. Because iCloud it's normally not managed by by your company, it will be blocked. But I mean, you can leave it at allow if you want to. This one it's blocked, yes, for sure. This is the the manage app, so it's our, your organization only. And here you want to select the exception. So you say, okay, it's not allowed to do copies, but I will allow if they want to select uh, OneDrive for business, because this is managed by the, the company and the, the data is secure, it, secure on, this, um, on this side. You can even let SharePoint do it. So you have all of all of these. So local storage is on your phone. So if you if you want to allow the users to download the information locally to the phone, so you allow here. If you don't want that and you just you want to control all the data, so the data doesn't go anywhere besides the locations that are managed by your company, you leave it on OneDrive uh, for business. And to prevent the copy paste, it will be down here. Copy paste between other apps. So this is gonna be we're gonna select block here. This is not simple, simple because um, for example, if you you open, okay, I will show you afterwards. If you open um, a word on a manage app that is the word, and you copy from the, the information there, it could be possible that you can copy it because the documentation has to be saved to, to start to be a company documentation. So if you elaborate um, a document uh, in your phone, on your Word, Manage app, and you didn't save it yet, it's not yet a company information. So it's possible to copy paste. But if you leave it like autosave or something, it will autosave. And it just for a while, it's going to be possible to copy. But after the, after the first autosave, it will be impossible to copy that information. OK, here you have a lot of different um, things that you can configure to protect. You can encrypt, you can... Um, uh, allow or not sync policy manage app with native apps uh, print organization data you can block or allow for example if you don't want people to be able to print from your uh, apple devices you will not uh, allow here and so on so let's gonna do next um here are some uh, pin access uh, configurations. You can leave it this way. You can increase the number of, um, of uh, characters that the pin needs to, to have. It needs touch ID or not, um, whatever. I will not require this. So uh, if you put it not require, everything goes. Uh, off and this is credentials for uh, for uh, a work school account so not required let's uh, do this and yes this is a, a little more of the the settings for app condition and this is the, the jailbroke, uh, jailbroke because we don't allow um, devices that were jailbroke or rooted devices. You have to, only two options, block access or wipe um, thing, uh, wipe the device and you cannot remove this from here. So this is uh, really a mandatory um, setting. Let's uh, give it a, a group. You can give whatever you want as a group. Um, it can be 
I will not apply this one, so I have one already applied to show to you guys, but uh, you can put here or here, or you can do multiple, uh, you can select whatever you want, or even though you can, yeah, that's it. Let's give it one random. This is the zero device, zero users, so it will not apply to anyone. Okay. Let me bring up a device so I can show you the final result. Okay, so this is the one of the devices. This is a physical device. It's, the, the, it's been shared with the um, Air, Air server. So this is a, a real device. It's an Apple device. And for this, uh, we're gonna check uh how it uh, works the the thing right so these are my manage apps uh, for example word let's go ahead and create a new document if i copy now from here i will be able to copy because i'm creating a new document as i, I told you uh, so to i can share to you now give me a second. Sorry about that. So if I go here and I copy this information and I paste on a different um, app, for example, let's see notes. Notes here. I will be able to paste this here. There you go. It was able to to paste, so it's it's here. Uh, this was the same test. But if I go to the word, and I say that I want to say, first of all, you can see here that the the locations uh, from the local um, iPhone, it's, they are grayed out. So it's not possible to select. The only thing you are able to select, it's OneDrive, as we told you, and uh, the sites from, um, from OneDrive. But the local, uh, it's prevented to, to save. So you don't need to save, but as you come here, this is going to be as you can see, auto save to OneDrive. And this document, it's now saved. If it is saved and I try to copy again, uh, let's see, copy, and then I will try to paste it here. And this is translate to, it's in Portuguese. But what it says here, it's the data of your organization cannot be copied here. This is the translation of these, uh, so it's not the text, the text copy from from words, it's a, a text with the information from your company with a message saying that you are not able to copy. So there you go, guys, this is how it works. If you have any doubts, you, you can leave it a comment. And, uh, and that's it, I hope you enjoy, and uh, I was uh, help, uh, able to help you. And please don't forget to, to support the channel so I can keep doing these videos for, for you and take your doubts in and help you guys. Bye bye and see you on the next video.